Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's defense analysis, we take an in-depth look at one of the most significant naval developments in recent years, the transformation of the former United States Navy Cyclone-class patrol ship USS Monsoon, PC-4, into the BRP Valentin Diaz, PS-177 of the Philippine Navy. This report focuses on the vessel's technical evolution, operational purpose, and the strategic implications of its transfer for both the Philippines and the broader Indo-Pacific region. The Cyclone class was designed by the United States in the early 1990s for high-speed, shallow-water operations, with a particular emphasis on littoral warfare and special operations support. These vessels were small, heavily armed, and capable of performing missions in confined coastal environments where larger warships would face limitations. USS Monsoon, commissioned in 1994, was the fourth ship of its class. Measuring approximately 55 meters in length with a displacement of 330 tons, the vessel was powered by four diesel engines, delivering a combined output of over 14,000 horsepower allowing it to reach speeds of more than 35 knots. Its agility and speed made it ideal for patrol, interdiction, and rapid response missions. During its early years, USS Monsoon conducted coastal patrols and maritime security operations along the U.S. coastline. Later, it was temporarily transferred to the United States Coast Guard to support homeland security and counter-narcotics missions. The ship's adaptability allowed it to perform a wide range of duties, from law enforcement to search and rescue, and it earned a reputation as a reliable and resilient platform despite its compact size. As newer and larger patrol vessels entered U.S. service, several Cyclone-class ships were eventually decommissioned and made available for transfer to Allied nations under the Excess Defense Articles EDA program. In 2023, the USS Monsoon was formally handed over to the Philippine Navy, marking another milestone in U.S.-Philippines defense cooperation. Before the transfer, American technicians worked alongside Filipino engineers to refurbish and refit the ship, ensuring it met Philippine operational requirements. Sensitive U.S.-specific communication and encryption systems were removed, while new navigation, radar, and communication suites compatible with Philippine systems were installed. Once refurbished, the vessel was officially renamed BRP Valentin Diaz, PS-177, honoring a historical figure from the Philippine Revolution. The ship was commissioned in a formal ceremony attended by senior defense officials and naval officers from both nations. This event symbolized not only the continuing alliance, between the U.S. and the Philippines, but also the Philippines. Determination to strengthen its maritime defense. Capability in an increasingly complex regional environment, BRP Valentin Diaz now operates under the Philippine Navy's littoral combat force, focusing on coastal patrol, interdiction, and maritime law enforcement. Its mission set includes surveillance, anti-smuggling operations, illegal fishing prevention, and support for humanitarian and disaster response. The vessel's high-speed, shallow draft, and rapid maneuverability enable it to operate effectively among the Philippines' more than 7,000 islands, areas where larger frigates cannot easily navigate. With a crew of around 28 personnel, the ship combines efficiency and versatility, capable of remaining at sea for extended durations without external support. Technically, BRP Valentin Diaz retains many of its original systems, including twin 25mm MK38 automatic cannons and several 50 caliber machine guns for close-in defense. The ship also carries two rigid hull inflatable boats, RHIBs, for boarding and interdiction operations. These features make it well-suited for maritime law enforcement missions that require both speed and precision. Despite its age, the vessel continues to demonstrate impressive performance in terms of maneuverability and reliability. 
particularly in littoral zones and coastal patrol sectors. The integration of BRP Valentin Diaz into the Philippine Navy represents a significant step toward improving maritime domain awareness and response capability. By incorporating a proven U.S. design, the Philippine Navy gains access to systems, training, and operational concepts that align closely with those of the United States Navy. This shared framework enhances interoperability, a crucial factor during joint military exercises such as Balikatan and Sama Sama, where both navies train together in coordinated operations, boarding drills, and search and rescue missions. Beyond its tactical utility, the vessel carries symbolic and strategic weight. Its transfer demonstrates the enduring partnership between the U.S. and the Philippines, grounded in mutual defense commitments and shared maritime security objectives. The presence of modernized patrol ships like BRP Valentin Diaz contributes to regional stability, ensuring the Philippines can respond more effectively to maritime challenges such as illegal incursions. Piracy and gray zone activities within its exclusive economic zone. From a maintenance perspective, the Cyclone class design remains demanding but manageable with proper technical support. The Philippine Navy has established dedicated maintenance teams and logistical arrangements to sustain these vessels, including access to spare parts and engineering support through collaboration with U.S. defense contractors. Continuous training programs ensure that Filipino sailors maintain proficiency in operating and servicing complex onboard systems. Operationally, BRP Valentin Diaz fills an important gap between smaller coastal craft and larger offshore patrol vessels. It provides a flexible platform capable of quick reaction in emergencies while also serving as a visible deterrent to illicit maritime activity. The ship's ability to project presence in remote island chains enhances national sovereignty and reassures local communities of consistent naval protection. Its deployment is particularly vital amid growing regional competition and the increasing need for persistent maritime surveillance in the Indo-Pacific. For the United States, the transfer strengthens a trusted ally's capacity without adding direct operational burden, while also reinforcing a network of regional partnerships committed to open and secure sea lanes. For the Philippines, it's an affordable and immediately operational solution that boosts readiness while longer-term shipbuilding and modernization programs progress. The experience gained through operating BRP, Valentin Diaz, will directly benefit future naval development. Filipino engineers and tacticians are now learning from Western standards of naval engineering, propulsion management, and combat system integration. These lessons will shape local shipbuilding initiatives, ensuring the next generation of Philippine vessels incorporates advanced technology and self-reliant capabilities. Strategically, this collaboration fits within the broader goal of collective maritime security. The addition of BRP Valentin Diaz enhances the Philippines' role in regional exercises, joint patrols, and humanitarian missions. It also sends a message of resolve that the country is prepared to safeguard its maritime interests with credible, well-trained forces and dependable platforms. While the Cyclone-class ships are not heavily armed warships, their value lies in their speed, endurance, and adaptability. In coastal and nearshore environments, they can perform crucial surveillance, interdiction, and rapid response duties far more efficiently than larger vessels. Their continued use by partner nations underscores their design's durability and effectiveness even decades after their introduction. The commissioning of BRP Valentin Diaz marks not merely the transfer of a ship, but the transfer of capability, experience, and confidence. It highlights the success of defense cooperation programs that allow older yet capable vessels to find renewed life in Allied fleets. The vessel's integration into the Philippine Navy reinforces a shared vision for maritime stability. 
cooperative defense, and mutual respect among partner nations in the Indo-Pacific region. In conclusion, the transformation of USS Monsoon into BRP Valentin Diaz stands as a practical example of modern defense collaboration. It embodies strategic foresight, utilizing proven assets to meet immediate operational needs while nurturing long-term defense self-sufficiency. Through this transition, a once American patrol craft now sails proudly under the Philippine flag, symbolizing not only technological adaptation, but also the enduring friendship and alliance between two maritime nations.